Hi, today I am going to show how to produce messages and push into the RabbitMQ through Spring Boot. So, I started a new starter project and in this I am just providing RabbitMQ, uh, Spring Web and DevTools so that things can be loaded at runtime and click on finish. So, this is my pom.xml file. As you can see, I am just to provide the version as 1.5.0. This is a stable version. And when you scroll down, I can show you that I provided DevTools, Web, and AMQP for RabbitMQ. And there are other dependencies also for test part. Let me just remove this test part dependencies as I don't require it right now. And this is okay. And when I'll open this, let me do this test file and delete. Now our project structure is complete. So I'll go to this Spring Boot application and it has at that Spring Boot application itself is at that configuration. So I'll provide the at the right bean configuration here only. For that I am providing public static final string Q, the name of the Q I am providing as let me provide play java q and let me copy this so that i can provide the exchange and routing key also so in the second line let me provide it as exchange and third as routing key routing key and let me change the name to play java exchange and play java routing key and now i'm going to provide bean and so bean will provide q name it as q and in this queue, I'll just return new queue with the name of queue and add the repeat for exchange and exchange will be done through that direct exchange. So let me change it to direct exchange and the function name to exchange. And it will be a new direct exchange. So let me remove this part also and name it as direct exchange and provide the name of exchange here this is exchange and the thing is through binding and for binding let me type remove this part and type at the, the binding only so i'll provide binding and name it as binding and in the method only i'll provide the queue so name it as queue as queue and direct exchange it will be a direct exchange as exchange at exchange so i have my queue and direct exchange so i will bind these things with routing key so i'll just return binding builder dot bind with q dot to exchange dot with with as routing key provide the routing key these are names which I provide in the public static final string and in this way we have created the beans for queue exchange and bindings so let me now create a controller class for that I'll go to com test and create a class name as let's name it as rabbit mq producer controller and click on finish so I have created my controller class and let me provide the annotations at the rate rest controller as it's a rest controller I am creating and underline will be of request mapping and I'll provide the initial path that is the base path of the URL as let me provide it as rabbit test and here I will provide auto wire of let me provide it as private amqp test template and this is nothing but the rabbit mq template which is being done through mqp template so I will provide a get mapping it will be a get method 
so i'll provide in get mapping and the value let me provide it as hyphen produces produces so i am providing hyphen produced and in the method i'll provide public i am just returning string here and produce and it will producer will be producing my rabbit template dot convert and send and here i'll provide the exchange and second i'll provide the routing key these are the constant from my main class that is prob producer rabbit amqp application so in the final i'll provide the message as hello world through or let me name it as hello world x example and now i'll provide through rabbit mq so this is the message i'm going to push in the exchange through this routing key and to the given queue and finally i'll return data produced and in this way my controller will work so now let me provide the configuration of rabbit mq there is a host port username and password of my local this is the host port username and password and i'll provide in application dot properties file and now i'll let me clean everything so i'll go to maven and update project force update and go to project clean clean all project now now everything is fine so now let me run this application so the data will be posted in the rabbit mq and go to run as spring boot so as you can see the port has started on let me scroll down 8080 so it has started at path 8080 with the base url as rabbit test and produced so i'll just type it localhost 8080 and provide rabbit test hyphen test and produced let me re verify it's rabbit test and produced and with, let me go to rabbit mq management i can show you that there is no exchange created these are default exchange only and there is no queue there is no queue it's showing no queue but when i'll hit enter the table will be pushed in the rabbit mq and all the queues and exchanges will be created and when you can see the console here it has pushed in the queue play java queue it is showing here and when i'll go to the browser to see the rabbit mq management i can see the queue is made and when i'll go to the exchange here it is play java exchange is made these are nothing but the exchanges and the queue which we have provided here play java queue play java exchange and mapping will be done through this routing key play java routing key and when i'll go to the queue i can see the mapping is done through play java routing key through play java exchange and one message is already pushed so let me get this message you can see hello world example through rabbit mq is printed as a message this message is nothing but the thing which we have provided in our controller that is this one hello world example through rabbit mq in this way we can push message to rabbit mq through spring boot thank you all